Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Production Expert, and in this video, I want to take a look at Chord Composer from Intuitive Audio. It's a really interesting plugin in that it's meant to stimulate creative ideas by generating chord progressions based on a variety of different criteria that we enter. And in this video, I want to test it out and see some of the different ways that it can stimulate different types of ideas. Now to start with, we choose our basic key and chord settings here in this chord generator chord settings window. And we see this is the default C major and we see the related chords based on the scale tones pertaining to this key. So here I'm gonna change some of the properties. I'm gonna go maybe to the key of F and I'll stay in major, although we can choose a variety of scales and modes and we can choose what types of chords we wanna use and even randomize them. I'm gonna go with sevenths for now and we can specify an inversion that we want used, but we can edit these after the fact. This is just for the initial chord generation and extra notes that we want added or removed from the voicing. And I'm gonna go down to the second octave rather than the third. Now here, the chords will be generated and displayed here. We can edit them after the fact with these parameters, or we can set them in advance so that they're created with these parameters. Now, for example, I don't want the velocities full up, so I'm gonna lower this a little bit, and maybe I wanna humanize it a little bit just a little, and we can add a strum factor where all the notes aren't started at the exact same point in the bar, and then we can choose the direction for how they're strummed, but I'm gonna leave that off for now. And we can also quantize, I'll go to quarter notes and set the number of bars for the pattern, and four is fine for now. So let's go create chords, and now we see the little pattern it's generated. Let's listen. All right, so I wanna modify some of these. So we have our bank of chords here and we see the voicings that are used for each and we can edit them if we want. But I can click on these and get a little change bar that'll allow me to change properties of the chord and I can step through the bank of chords. There's the A2, the next one in the voicing, A2 with the minor seven. And I'm gonna change it maybe to this one. Okay, I'm gonna change this one now. So let me step through the different possibilities here. And maybe I wanna go with a C and let me change this and let's make it a different type of voicing. I'll go for five note voicing and the seventh with the 13th, that's nice. So let's hit the swap button and let's see what this pattern sounds like. Okay, that's working fine, and I can now edit the note lengths if I want. For example, I'm gonna select all, and then just scale them all back so they're a bit shorter. And let's add a little bit of a strum factor on here, just a little bit. So that's one idea of how you can use it. I'm gonna clear everything, and let's look at some of the other options we have here. We have a quick pattern generator here that I find is great for generating a bunch of ideas until you find something you like. These are the different scale degrees that it's gonna generate a pattern on. And if we hit randomize, it'll randomize these. For example, there's a different pattern. And then we can set different rhythms that we want here. Let's go create pattern to start with. And here's what it's done based on these. And it's preserved these settings. So let's randomize again, and we'll randomize new chords here, create another pattern, and there's another one based on this. Now, where it gets interesting is that we can create different rhythms here. So let's go maybe 16th note strum. Randomize again, create pattern. So I find this pretty interesting for generating interesting idea. Offbeat eighth notes, let's randomize the pattern again, create pattern. And of course I can still go in and change any one of these individual chords. Here's a different pattern I've generated with some different sounds, this time in D minor. Etc. Now I want to look at how we can use the pattern generator to create more interesting rhythms than the preset ones that are in the menu there. 
So here we select each block and on the right, we can influence what's gonna happen in that block. So I'm gonna lower the velocities for this and I'm gonna set this to eighth notes. So I can now maybe remove some of them to get some syncopations like that by removing some of the notes in that block. So now for the next chord, which is the sixth chord, maybe I'll put that one to 16th notes and I wanna get different kind of syncopations by deleting random ones. Of course, it doesn't have to be random. I'm just doing this to get some ideas here. I'm gonna click right on it to delete and I'll delete one in the last group as well. There we go. And the next block, which is the three chord. So let's change this and it's updated the first ones already. And I'll set this one to eighth notes and delete some as well here too. And the last one, which is the four chord, I'll set that to maybe quarter notes and just delete the second one there. So we can now update the pattern and see what this sounds like. Again, let me just select all and shorten them a bit so we can hear the actual rhythms because the release of this sound will tie them over. And we hear the different velocities triggering different stages in the filter based on what I have said here, which is interesting also in this particular sound. Let's just update that. So there it's got that different filter setting. And again, I can select all and shorten these or I can select some of them and just shorten some of them. Now, once you've got things set the way you like, you can use this to simply drag and drop it into your DAW and then play it back as regular MIDI data on whatever sound you want and edit it and treat it however you normally would beyond that point. So I think this is a great tool for generating some interesting ideas that you might not otherwise come up with. The chord generator, we set all our basic properties and generate some patterns. And then we can use the pattern generator to specifically zero in and create interesting rhythms for the patterns we've generated. The chord player is interesting in that it allows us to use one note triggering. We can hit one note and trigger the bank of chords that we have set up, and then we can record those when we're in the record mode. So that's another way to use this. And then we can use the stacker to generate different variations of the pattern. Once we have patterns that we like, we can use the stacker to copy and paste them and then maybe modify the copies to create longer evolving patterns. So I think there are a lot of interesting ways here to generate different ideas you might not otherwise come up with, be they voicings or rhythms or actual chord progressions. And what I really think Intuitive Audio got right with Chord Composer is that you don't need to be an expert in music theory to get the most out of it. It holds your hand just the right amount by guiding you to the chords that are gonna sound good in the key you're working in, but also gives you the tools and the flexibility to dive deeper and modify things as much as you want. So check out Chord Composer from Intuitive Audio. This is Eli Kranzberg from Production Expert signing out.